Greetings. It's uh, Tuesday morning at some point, later than 8 o'clock, earlier than 10. <laughs> That's about as accurate as I'm going to get. Just stopping in to say hi, y'all. I got a lot on my plate, and uh, I'm really not wanting to comment on all the stuff that's going on, especially the Kavanaugh thing. I've, watching those hearings was the biggest trigger I've gone through in a long, long time, and to me it was obvious that Kavanaugh was lying, and the poor woman who was, you know, talking about what happened to her was telling the truth. And, and this just brings back the issue of being told to shut up all my life about my family being involved in pedophilia going all the way back to William the Conqueror. And I'm really done with people telling survivors to shut the hell up. Um, this isn't about my healing, because I'm way past healed. This is about all the people who'll never have the voice to speak out because they're either dead, like my brother and sister, who never survived abuse, or other people who don't have the courage to speak up because it's dangerous to speak up. I haven't yet gone into what happened to me when I spoke up locally and online, but let's just say it wasn't pretty. So, you know, the discussion needs to go around about what other things keep us from coming forward. Fear, for me, is the first one. Although I don't fear these bastards, I don't want to be retaliated against anymore. And... Let's face it, rich people have always done what the hell they want to do wherever they are. And most rich people, I don't care whether they're liberal or, or conservative, don't have a capacity for empathy. There are studies that have been proven that rich people don't have the capacity for empathy because they've never suffered. And not only that, but common sense is not the province of academics. Bottom line is, is we do live in a culture where people love to point fingers, but they forget they got three pointing back at themselves while their th thumbs point straight to heaven. I don't know why people online get upset about what other people think, because what other people think is their business. And free speech is just that. However, there's some speech that is painful. And to hear all this shit online and all the nasty people online commenting, about survivors and not seeing very many people stand up for the survivors, I've pretty much lost hope in our country. Until people who have not experienced abuse have compassion for those who have experienced abuse, it's not going to change. People are basically ignorant. If it doesn't affect them, they don't notice it. And the more they're online, the more they forget to look around them and talk to people and, and examine things in their own communities, the more they become tunnel visioned. And that's as nice as I can put it. I hope everybody else who's a survivor amongst my survivors are doing okay today. And those of you who are too silent to admit you're just there to see what I say are having a good day. To the uh, people who lived in the small town I used to live in who damaged my car, my computer, and my phone. You have a choice now. I have a major civil rights lawsuit facing you, or you can replace my 84 Volvo, my computer, and my phone. That's the challenge to the county I live in. They know who I am. You know who you are. So if you have channeled aspirations for shutting me up, <laughs> talk to my lawyer in Atlanta. Y'all have a good day. Bye.